my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because my daughter and I had to quarantine together for a week before she had gallbladder surgery. So this video is just our quarantine vlog, I guess. We didn't do a whole lot, which was kind of nice. I did make a housewife from Willoughby and Rose, and I will be showing that process throughout this, but other than that, it's a pretty relaxed week. So with that, let's get couch potatoing. That might be the best description of it. The first thing I needed to do before I could get set up to live in my sewing room for a week was to make my bed. I just slept on the couch with some quilts. Uh, this quilt is for my Aunt Cecilia. And I just got them ready and I folded them back up on themselves so I wasn't stepping on them and just sat on the made bed during the evenings when I was working on sewing or watching movies. So Harley and I are starting our second week of quarantine. Um, the first week we did two weeks ago before she had an endoscopy. Um, and then we had about a week before she had her second COVID test, which was this morning. And now we have to be in quarantine again for a week before her gallbladder surgery, which is on Monday. Um, last time we thought about vlogging us being out here in quarantine together for a week but we didn't think about it until we were already about halfway through. So we decided to vlog it this time. Harley said it's just going to be a whole lot of her sitting at the computer playing Minecraft. Uh, as for me, I'm working out here, so I will be- Minecraft on my mind. Yeah. That's how legit. Computer, you know stop. Stupid Alexa. Uh, I work out here, so a lot of the process will be me just sitting at my workstation for the workday. Then our evening activities. I'm going to be working on my plaid robe à la française, and I'm not sure what Harley has planned other than playing a whole bunch of Minecraft. So I'll turn the camera around and show you guys how we have everything set up. So we left this bed up from the last time we quarantined out here and that's where Harley slept. It's just a queen-sized air mattress and of course Pip joins us um, and <laughs> the leopard print comforter is a remnant from Harley's teenage days um, and you guys have seen my, my sewing room so you don't need to see all that. I sleep on the couch um, for two reasons. It's actually really, really comfortable. And um, the other reason is that Pip and Harley are bed hogs. So I would much rather sleep on the couch than have to fight over space with them. So the nice thing is I have a nice little setup here. I can do hand sewing in the evening. Um, I've got a housewife kit from Willoughby and Rose I'm gonna work on. Um, yeah. And then I also have my plaid robe à la française that I'm working on. I finally have the skirts pinned to the front and you can see it's on the outside right now. So I still need to um, mark the bottom of the bodice line, fold everything over, applique stitch it and attach it and all that. So yeah, welcome to our week of quarantine. The first night of quarantine, Harley and I were both so tired that we didn't watch any movies and I didn't work on any sewing projects. We just kind of relaxed and hung out. I started reading the Material Lives book that just came out by Serena Dyer, and I'm really enjoying that. Harley and I also have a ritual now of drinking a cup of tea from Beach House Teas every night and I will link her shop down below and up above if I can.
We didn't do a whole lot on day two either, but I did record a little bit of my work day and that's about it. Day three, which was Thursday, I started working on my Willoughby and Rose housewife kit. And this kit came with Grogain ribbon to put along each of the top pocket edges instead of hemming them. And so I cut the ribbon to length and attached it to each of the pocket pieces. This is the bottom pocket piece and it also gets the piece of wool attached to it to use as a needle and pin minder. And so that is what I'm doing here. And I am just attaching it to the top layer of the pocket. Each of the pockets in this kit actually had a linen lining piece as well. In addition to the grain ribbon along the top edge of each of the other pocket pieces, they also each got a rolled hem along the bottom edge. And I'm doing that here following a tutorial that I learned from Yule Thiessen, and I will link her up above and down below as well.
<laughs> so we're on night three of isolating in the sewing room. I've gotten, oh, two hems done, three hems done, I think. Harley's played a little Minecraft. I've worked every day. We've watched Hunger Games and Mockingjay. No, Hunger Games and Catching Fire. And we're both already really bored. And Harley's really, really stir crazy. Like, really stir crazy. I don't want to be here. I know you don't want to be here. No. This is the stupidest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But you get to spend an entire week one on one with your mom. <laughs> More work shenanigans. By day five, I was really going stir crazy. So I Took some time to tidy up the sewing room. I remade Harley's bed, um, picked out some fabric to make her some sweats, uh, you know, just did some basic tidying up and straightening things out before we got settled in to hang out for the day. So day five was Saturday and Harley is actually rebuilding the website for the salon she works for. So she spent quite a bit of time working on that and I played with Pip and did a lot more sewing. Pip spent a lot of time going between my lap and Harley's bed and Harley's lap and the floor. She has thoroughly enjoyed this week. Once all of the pockets were hemmed and the grosgrain ribbon added, I pinned them to the body of the housewife and then I pinned the top flaps down so that I could get to the bottom hems to stitch them to the housewife. At this time I also was going to be stitching the top lining piece uh, along the bottom to the housewife as well. Normally you attach the housewife pockets to the lining of the housewife and then uh, baste it all to the outside piece, but I forgot that step and so I was really, really careful stitching the pockets to the housewife just to make sure I didn't go through that second layer of fabric and I only stitched them to the linings. After the pockets were all stitched in place and the top layer piece was slip stitched along the bottom hem, I pinned the grosgrain ribbon binding around the outside edge of the housewife. I used really tiny slip stitches to attach the grosgrain ribbon binding to the housewife and I started on the inside of the housewife.
Since this was Harley's last day in quarantine, we went out to my parents' house and had a socially distanced visit out in their garden. And I took the opportunity to get some vitamin D and sew in the sun. When we got home, I finished sewing the binding to the outside edge of the housewife, and then it was all finished. And our week in quarantine is finished as well. We we're both really, really glad. quarantine project for this week that we've been in quarantine. I finished this Aubrey um, housewife from Willoughby and Rose. There's some close-ups of the fabrics. These fabrics are beautiful. So it was a good project, we enjoyed it. And here is the housewife, all rolled up and tied in a pretty bow. Our time in quarantine this time wasn't as difficult. Last time we went into quarantine right before the weekend. Um, whereas this time, uh, Harley's COVID test was on a Tuesday. And so during the day she was inside doing you know, normal things that she does inside the house. And I was out here working like I normally do. Uh, so it hasn't been until the last two days that we've been fully in quarantine all day long out in the sewing room. I hope you enjoyed this really funky video and a little bit of a different look into my life. Uh, maybe you got some inspiration to make your own housewife. Uh, I went over my plans for the year in a video at the beginning of January, but a few things have changed. And I just wanted to give a heads up to keep an eye out because there are some new exciting projects coming down the line this month. And well, in April, which is three days from now. So I hope you'll stick around and watch those. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe. If you would like YouTube to let you know every time I upload, hit the little bell. Thanks for watching.